Hello and welcome to this video, which is about my 2007 uh, Volkswagen Touran, which I've converted into a, um, a stealth camper. So uh, from the outside, you wouldn't really know what's going on on the inside. And what's going on the inside can easily be converted back to a seven seater people carrier. So it really makes this car very versatile, blends in. Um, it's a really reliable car as well. We'll get into that in another video if you're interested in what this car costs to run. But yeah, it's a 2007 Touran, um, 160,000 miles on the clock. Uh, it's a DSG gearbox. But let me show you the actual um, the camper conversion because that's what this video is all about. So the first problem I wanted to address when building my uh, Touran Stealth Camper is I wanted the back part of the car to be out of sight from anyone that's looking in the front of the car. So if you're looking through the window, you can't actually see, oh, obviously there's too much reflection there, but if I open the door, you'll see there's a, a black cloth that goes behind the seats. And I'll show you from the other side as well. So yeah, this black cloth, it just, uh, it just pulls across and I made this rail up here that um, I built onto the grab, grab handles in the back there, just a bit of aluminium, drilled it and made a bit of a bracket. And uh, yeah, it just gives a load of privacy, which is what you really want. You don't want um, a light in the back when you're reading or whatever, and uh, people can see into where you're trying to have a, have a sleep or a rest. So now I'll show you uh, into the back of the vehicle. Again, from the outside, it looks like just a, an ordinary people carrier. You see tens of them every day, hundreds of them a week. Normal, v, normal VW Touran. But then uh, open the back door and this is what you get. So as you can see, there's a full length bed here. Uh, I'm five foot nine and I sleep really comfortably. Um, you can put the front seat more forward if you want to, if you are taller, but then it just looks a little, little more weird when you're looking from the front because the front seat's really far forward, but I've got mine like back enough that it looks normal. And um, then I've got a seat here so I can sit. Um, if I want to just sit down and have a drink or read or get changed or whatever, I've got a seat to sit. And once again, this is that... Um, black curtain that shuts off the front from the back and it just slides open like that. It's pretty cool. And yeah, it's attached to the grab rails just there. So this is looking into the back of the car with the, uh, the boot up and you can see that uh, I've got the bed there and I've got this nice bit of space. I've got this nice bit of space here just for any luggage or boots or whatever. Um, so yeah, a nice bit of room there and my seat and loads of space under the bed as well. And uh, I'll talk about what the bed's actually made of now. So the bed is really, really simple. It's just, I lift this up. It's just an Ikea desk that I've cut the legs down on. Um, so it's all level. So the, the bed frame is level. And then I've got these storage boxes here that I've just put, I just put stuff in and then they support my legs as well, my feet. So it's got a full length bed. And I'll show you from the uh, the near side uh, rear door into the cabin. And from here you can see the, the legs and they're cut like uh, to custom lengths so that they will fit in their level. And yeah, that's just screwed into this, this desk here. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry, this is my first YouTube video and uh, yeah, I'm trying my best. So yeah, screwed in there, look. Um, and then in here, I'll get in the car and show you what these are. These are the blinds that I made myself and they completely black out the, um, the inside of the car. So it's in full privacy mode, full stealth camp mode. So I've left the, um, the back covers off so you can actually see some light in the cabin here. Otherwise you won't be able to see. And by the way, on each of the windows, I've got these, um, these mesh screens and they just give a bit more privacy. Uh, the, the windows are tinted anyway, but then with these, it means that I can see out, but no one can see in. Uh, if I do want to be in here in the daytime and look out to see what's going on. Um, yeah, and then you can see that I've got these 
uh, proper full blinds in now. And there are all of the windows. And uh, I've got like a, a ventilation slot at the top. So a bit of air can come in and out. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but on the outside of the car, I've got the um, like the guards on the top of the window, the wind guards. So you can drop the window by half an inch um, and no one knows that the window's open and no rain comes in. And so you can get a nice bit of ventilation through the night. And then, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the cozy bed. I love it. Really comfortable. Um, nice and calm in here. And uh, yeah, what I'll do now is I'll go outside and open the, the rear hatch and show you in, just so you can get a better, better picture of what I'm talking about. All right. And once again, this is looking into the back of the car with the hatch up. And you can see that, uh, yeah, all the windows are covered. And the cabin, the, uh, sorry, the, the front light, the driving seat and the passenger seat are covered as well, so no one can see in here. And it's just a really cool space to um, to go out and about, go around Wales. And also this seat does go down, so I can fold it flat if I want to put my bike in this space here. So that's really convenient as well. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, I mean, cost-wise, it didn't cost much. It was all just scraps and things that I found on Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree, the, the, uh, the desk I got for about 10 or 15 quid, I think it was. Not much money at all. So if you are looking for a vehicle to uh, to change into a stealth camper or you've already got a Touran, then uh, they do work really well. And um, in my next video, I'll probably go off on a, on a little adventure, show you how it really works, show you what it's good at, show you what it's not good at. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you want to see any more, if you've got any questions about, about my camper conversion, just uh, just let me know in the comments. All right, cheers. See you later.